guys, you're not practicing social distancing. What's going on? Oh, I know. Yeah. <laughs> That's a thing. Awesome. I know. Hey, I mean, I, I heard last weekend. Um, I think it was uh, what the premier Doug Ford and maybe less John Tory. He was livid. This is what I heard. He was livid that uh, Canadians were not respecting the uh, the rules and the, and the and the things they put in place for this emergency. They were like ticked off. You know what I mean? Yeah, because yeah, we're little children, right? They're, yeah, they're, they're, yeah. they're the parental figures. They yeah, know best, yeah. and no. we don't know squat. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. apparently he was livid, and of course the prime minister of Canada, he's That's going good. on the same his, way. Like his, his blood pressure can go about here, and then his heart just pop. <laughs> <laughs> but we don't want that, or do we? Well, <laughs> do we, do we, do we ourselves, ourselves. <laughs> you know, so it's, it's actually very refreshing to be here because you know how it is. Like when when we when we go back into let's say the regular world or whatever it might be, yeah. just <laughs> like, as, as they would call it. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? People have the mask on. You can see in their eyes, though, because that's pretty much all you can see at this point. Yeah. And you can see, like, if you, let's say, how we're standing close to the Oh, you can fear the Yeah, fear. you can see the fear in their eyes, and they're just, they're, they're well, ready to lose couple, it. We were here last week, and that couple, they, they, they didn't have masks on, but they went like this. Oh, yeah, really? Like that, holding their breath. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's actually nice to have people coming together that have actually spent some time to investigate and to look into these matters. Because yeah. the, thing, the thing I say is that no one's without an excuse. Right, uh, the information online is still available for us to know that this is a complete scam. Oh, yeah. it's, it's not a pandemic. It's a scam. Demic. It's it whatever. It is. I like that one. You know I what I mean? Heard that one. You haven't heard that one yet. You, you, you got scam. Demic. You got pandemic. Pandemic, and, and so forth. But that's exactly what it is. But when you're only getting your information through the mainstream media and those that control the information, that information. We're gonna be pretty much like everyone else, you know. You gotta, you gotta be like, oh my god, you know, there's this invisible virus and it's gonna kill us all. So I better put on my mask and I better put on my my goggles and put on all the uh, PPEs, you know, protective uh, personal equipment, so that I don't die. You know what I mean? So this is my first. Uh, you guys, are you guys okay with this or no? With what? On camera. Camera? I, I try to be yeah. respectful. Okay, you guys are cool. Okay. Me, <laughs> You know, so like I'm here with my friends and we're all like standing within literally a foot of each other, you know, and uh, of course we're breaking a protocol because social distancing requires us to be, what is it, six six feet apart, so we're in trouble right now. But, uh, it's, it's, no, no, none of the police do it. Yeah. I know. They don't wear masks. I know. No. Well, I've seen some of them do, but you're right. They're, if 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 if, if, we're, if we're really gonna follow through with what they're saying, they're saying as much as possible. Try to maintain six feet. But here's the thing. I was watching a video with a, uh, this American doctor. His name is Dr. Andrew Coffin. And he was saying that the particles, if he 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 doesn't believe this virus exists at all, as it's been presented to us. Right, he's, thank you. He's saying, okay, if this virus exists, you got to keep in mind that the particle or the size of the virus is so much smaller than the actual mask that you're wearing oh, yeah. that it, it, there'd, there'd be no barrier to the uh, virus getting into your system yeah. to begin with, if it hypothetically exists out I there. love the people with you know? beards, like my buddy here, wearing the mask, right? <laughs> He's not about here with all this air going through the beard. <laughs> I know, and the thing is, here, here's the thing, if you're able to breathe, because you and I know that it does disrupt your ability to breathe, but you're still able to breathe in and out through that mask, yeah. right? So if you're able to breathe in and out, you're breathing in some form of yeah, oxygen, I, right? Yeah. So if you're breathing that with in... With a massive amount of recycled carbon dioxide. Thank you. Yeah. And so now, if the particles for the virus is so much smaller, and it's probably, you know, equivalent to the particles in the air, and you're able to breathe it in and out, then what's the purpose of the mask? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? For the mask, but, you, that, that, you know, that is, that's, just, that's, just a, that's just a sign that you're a slave. <laughs> yeah. That's, Amen, brother. Wear, Amen, brother. Wear, here, give it here. Wear the Star of David on your... <laughs> yeah, you're absolutely right about right. that. You're absolutely right about that. But you know what? That's the irony of it is that uh, people are wearing it and they, this. I think they believe they're keeping themselves safe. And then you see them in their vehicles. Yeah. Like all the time. With the windows closed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And, and you know, I, I think the thing that makes it, um, I mean, you feel bad. I don't know about you guys, but I feel bad. Sometimes I get agitated, I'll be honest. Sometimes I get really annoyed with it. Yeah. Especially when you're, you, it's almost like a scene from Twilight Zone. You're surrounded with these people yeah. with the mask on. And, you know, you, you, you feel like just saying, okay, do you really believe that's going to provide some form of protection? The fact that you're able to breathe in and out? Yeah. You know what I mean? All you're doing is 
causing your body to have to work that much harder to bring oh, yeah. in the oxygen in your system, you know? So guys, you guys are awesome, man. Are you guys going to be out next weekend? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to be here. This is my first weekend here. Is it your guys first? or is no, it? second. Okay, so this is the second. So you guys have one week up for me. Hey, how are you doing? Good, how are I you? love your t-shirt, man. I see it? Thank you. Yeah. Awesome. Where did Hugs you get that mass. from? Hugs. Um, Hugs so over mask. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah? So how do you feel about mask wearers? Do you feel that they're fully aware of what's going on or they're completely clueless? The mask wearers? Yeah, the mask the wearers. wearers are... You can call them bandits too, right? Because you know, so, no, bandits. You know, like, you know, before you rob the bag, you put on yeah. the, the mask and you cover up. Yeah. I'm surprised there hasn't been a, an increase in some type of, uh, I don't know, robbing or stealing and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, I wonder. So you think that they're... It might, it might end up with some people... But, you know, you know what they're going to say to you? They're going to say you're wrong. Yeah, they were the bandits. They're, they're both the they're stupidity. <laughs> they're going to steal more stupidity. Yeah. yeah, but you know what? They're going to say, look, the healthcare for professionals and... And those in healthcare, Dr. Tam, they know what they're talking about. And who are you? Who are you to know what you're talking about? Yeah, but... They really don't. You know what I mean? Like, they're keeping themselves safe and they're, they're quarantining themselves and they're standing six feet apart and they, they're looking forward to contact tracing because we've got to keep each other safe. And if I notice, if I realize that you may be, uh, let's see, you might be exposed to COVID-19, well, I'm also going to you know, call the authorities on you and say they're coming uh, quarantine you for 14 days because you're, you know, yeah. isn't that true? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not true, but you know what? It is, it is about totalitarian control, you know what I mean? I mean, I, I, I'm thinking to myself, this is, in, in uh, China, it's called the Chinese Communist Party, but I'm thinking here, it's the Canadian Com communist party. You know what I mean? Because Canada is becoming very communist and we're losing th Chinese communist. He's the same <laughs> here. He's the, yeah, you're right. He's yeah. the same families the same. Who's, who've been instilling slavery on people All of us. the century. Yeah, you're absolutely yeah. right. Same families, yeah. the cycle. Yeah. Your children grow yeah. up with the same demons. You know what? What I enjoy about having this conversation with you guys, and, and I'm sure maybe you might feel the same, is the fact that you can't really have this conversation with most people out there. You can't. No, That's no, my experience. You can't. Crazy. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> they might call us, uh, what is it called? Uh, conspiracy theory? Yeah, yeah. It's not, but it's conspiracy fact, right? It's not conspiracy theory. But you know what? It's refreshing to actually come here because I find... So, reality. Yeah, I find that I can't have a conversation with most people because they absolutely, they're drinking the Kool-Aid as the expression goes. Yeah. They believe what they're being told. So when you stand out and say, well, okay, COVID-19 is, 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 is not legitimate. It's not a legitimate pandemic. We didn't even get to an epidemic. We just went straight into a pandemic. You notice that? Overnight. Oh, yeah. it, it wasn't like it escalated. We, they just overnight, okay, we're in a pandemic. Let's shut everything down. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's just really crazy, you know? So The vaccinations have to be ceased. That, that can't happen. The vaccinations? Yeah. That can't happen. But you know it's coming. Oh, it's not going to come for me. I, I, no, I agree. Neither for me. <laughs> <laughs> but, I will murder them. But you didn't say that. I will murder them. <laughs> he didn't mean that. He just means no, he's I gonna. Mean okay, he means it. Okay, I don't speak no, for I him. Mean it. Okay. I mean it. <laughs> he's a good guy. He's simply saying I'm gonna put it another yeah, way. I'm going to slice this okay. Right. <laughs> All right. So he's very adamant. It's his body. He has a right to keep yes, himself yes. safe, and I agree with that. You know what I mean? So, in all fairness, no one has a right to force. Uh, some foreign uh, body in your body. Yeah, some foreign virus or whatever it might be, uh, vaccine into our bodies. Things known to create harm, right? Yeah. I mean, how many how many thousands of people die a year from vaccination? Yeah. So I mean. Well, yeah, I know, of course. And this has nothing to do with a quote vaccination. It has to do with ID twenty twenty. Yes. It? Yes. It has to do with tracking. Yeah, COVID. that's you know, right. Again, wearing the invisible. Uh, you're awesome, brother. Invisible uh, star of David. Yeah. Your arms, yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Invisible yeah. tattoos yeah. as well. We talk about invisible tattoos. Sir, sir, like, I, right? I have to interrupt you. You, sir, are a conspiracy theorist, sir. <laughs> You, sir. I'm a nut. You are a conspiracy a theorist, you sir. You see my collection of uh, tinfoil hats and all. They're awesome. I got a tinfoil cap. You know, I don't know the moment you start speaking rationally and logically about what you just said, you, sir, are against the system. You're going against the matrix. Yeah. And you, sir, are going to be first in line for when they force that vaccine on you. Yeah, you try it. Right. Hey, I'm with you on that, brother. No, no, I, I'm with you on that, man. It's, yeah. This stuff is getting really crazy. But it, what's even crazier is that most Canadians and most people around the world 
We're, they're being prepped. We know that. We're all being prepped for when this thing's supposed to happen, even the second wave. Because right? it's supposed to, uh, oh, I think, begin. Oh, you it all the time, right? Right, exactly. So they're preparing us for it. Right? Exactly. Yeah. So either this late summer or into the fall, no later than the fall for sure, that second wave's going to come. And they're going to shut everything down and all the rest of that. And then even with the, uh, let's say, the riots that are going on in the States regarding that, that, that unfortunate situation, they're going to use that to say because people weren't uh, practiced in social distancing. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now yeah. the numbers are gone through the roof. Because all they have to oh, yeah. do is explode yeah, the numbers. There'll be more clusters. Now. Yeah, yeah. Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? Oh, They're yeah. going to use that as a convenient excuse that, look, yeah. you know, these people got out on the street. They didn't practice social distancing. They weren't wearing a mask. They weren't following directives and orders. And now the numbers have gone through the roof. And of course, most people that are referred to as sheep, well, I, I'm trying to think of another term for that. But, anyways, we'll go with that for now. They're com Oh, thank you. They're. they're, they're they're completely, once they hear the numbers go through the roof, guys, you and I know that. People just lose their minds. They just lose it all together. So, one, and, and that's what they're going to do in, the, in this the late summer fall. They're going to say, the num sorry, folks, the numbers are going nuts. People are dropping hey, like flies. That's when the natural flu season comes back, right? Exactly, exactly. What are these people going to do, though, when they have to, you know, start paying the bills and losing their homes? I mean... Isn't that sad? It's, it's gonna Isn't that sad? I think it's going to come down to the point where people are to the point where they've got nothing else to lose. Yeah. And as, you know, as I'll say it on camera, I don't care, bloodshed will happen. And I believe it, so. And it needs to happen. I believe so. Because you know what? These, they, these people that are doing this for us, they don't yeah. care. Yeah. They don't give a shit about no, us. No, you're right. right. Absolutely, brother. They inflict violence upon us every day. Every day, absolutely right. right? Yeah. So, you know, if, if I were to grab, let's say, a dull, rusty knife, and uh, take one out. I, I would sleep great at that night. I would sleep. I would sleep the best I've ever slept. Right. And not to be specific. Not right, yeah, specific, yeah, exactly. That's right, no, yeah. We're not point, saying that. We're I'm not advocating violence, of course. <clears throat> right? Well, I'm advocating violence for myself against... <laughs> against these people yeah you know what? i appreciate your honesty because uh, i'm trying to protect you from this recording and, and you're like look i appreciate what you're doing brother but i'm still gonna i'm still gonna say what i have to say you no, know what i mean the thing though i mean honestly I, i'm beyond the point of i don't care if i die over this because it's, it's it's no longer life this is life yeah this is life i mean i'm not going to be forced to live outside of the way i'd like to live exactly right i do no harm to anybody right I live my life doing no harm. Right. 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 But now they're inflicting harm. Right. So they're imposing on you. You have to. You have to. The it's only thing that works against them is harm back against them. Right. That's it. That's right. So. Hey guys, thanks for the interview. You guys are awesome, man. My name is Dwight, by the way, and my YouTube channel is For His Glory 700. All right. I enjoyed what you had to say, and you know what? I just love the brutal honesty. I'm always about people that are yeah, I mean, like that, straight up Christian, honesty. From Christian, yeah, okay. I come from a Christian yeah. background. So here's the thing, though. I mean, I've got lots of friends Christian. I, mm -hmm. I, I believe, I believe this is creation. Mm -hmm. But I also believe that we don't, we, we're not supposed to sit down and take this. I agree. Right? I totally agree with and, you, brother. And I you know, totally agree gets, with you. If it, if it goes to fists, yeah. there are going to be deaths. Right? Th I and, agree. It is. It is. Know, I'm, that's actually prophetic, too. I'll, I'll say that what you just right. said is prophetic. So, I believe we're living in what, quote unquote, would be determined as the final days. But I, and, I agree with you. If someone forces them, their way into your home, yeah. Whether it be a government official and say, look, we're going to force you to get tested. And if you test positive, now we're going to force this vaccine into your bloodstream. Yeah, or you have a right to say, hell no. From your home. Exactly. Yeah, no Absolutely. Thanks. Yeah, so thank the you. Thing. I mean, the whole, the, forcing a shot in, I, I put it akin to rape. Yes. Right? Yeah. They're injecting a foreign Against substance your will. into you, yep. as a male would do to a female yes. with semen. Oh man, that is powerful. Right? I, I, I didn't equate so it quite rape. like that, but that's perfect. It's yeah, rape. yeah. It's assault. So. so you heard it from the man. It's rape if you're forced to take a vaccination. And you know what? Based on that analogy, I totally agree with my brother. Your name is again? Jeff. Jeff, I'm Dwight, man. And you, brother? Kyle. Kyle. Okay, guys, I'm good, yeah. man. I just got a regular YouTube account. Good to meet you, man. All right, guys, take care. Be blessed. Okay.